Order at 7.02. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mrs. Hills, could you take attendance? Mrs. Castle? Here. Mr. Hirakawa? Mr. Lanasi? Hello. Mrs. Mack? Here. Mr. Strang? Here. Okay, 1.2, review of the agenda, additions to the agenda. Would you like to review the agenda first? Sure. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our September board meeting, the first of our uh, <laughs> official school year. Uh, I want to just point out a few additions to the agenda that probably uh, the reason the agenda was not posted online most immediately was because we did have some uh, up-to-date as of this morning additions, and those are two additional um, employees will be hired to fill teacher trade vacancies. Tonight, we'll also just talk about our opening days, kind of how we got together back at school. And I also just want to point out somebody in the audience that we do have. Um, we have uh, Ms. Jenny Evans, who is actually with us and will be taking notes, but nothing bad, just uh, doing her internship with uh, the Sage Colleges for her administrative degree. So, Hi. Or for your doctor. I'm sorry, your yeah. administrative. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, 1.3, approval of minutes of the previous meeting. We've only had one, August 23rd, 2018. Can somebody make a motion? Motion. Second. Questions or discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those against? 1.4, acceptance of financial reports. We have two, internal claims auditor's report for August 2018, and the monthly treasurer's report with budget transfers for July and August 2018. I'm gonna make a motion. Motion. Second. Questions or discussion? Oh, just want to point out, I believe um, it typically uh, Scott Prusser would join us for the October meeting, and do, that's when the audit committee would come together. I believe someone booked the October meeting, another one of his districts, so it'll be the November meeting. Mm -hmm. So okay. they got to them first, so we'll be calling that together as we get to November. Yep. Speaking of finances. Yes. I think you know somebody. <laughs> um, okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those against? 1.5. Visitors and communication, communications to the Board of Education, uh, email from a district parent. I don't think I saw that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was actually yes, yes, I did. Okay, yes. It was actually the Tom and Mary with a yes. CC to the board. Yep. Did we get that? Mm -hmm. I believe we did. It was uh, a few weeks ago now. Well, it was right after the start of high school. Don't recall. Okay. Um, opportunity for the public to be heard. Do we have anybody signed up? We do not. We do not. Okay, we'll have another opportunity later. If anybody wants to sign up, please feel free. 2.0 reports to the Board of Education. 2.1 Board of Education reports and updates. Does anybody have any? Okay. Uh, 2.2. District slash superintendent program report. So if you have a couple of things you want to talk about. Sure. Thank you. Um, would actually just like to draw attention and I'd like to share with the board a document we just received actually a couple days ago or a day ago. Um, our opening days. Again, we've been in school, I believe this is now let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven days. That's been fantastic. So the first two days before the students arrive, we had our two superintendents opening conference days, which are two of our PD days, which focus on which will tie back later to our district areas of focus was the first day was based on a poverty stimulation. We had a really great experience where the, the faculty and staff got to experience kind of a, a situation or a situational poverty, but it was based on a, a variety of scenarios. It was a very hands-on kind of experience. If I could share with the board, the reviews came back at the end. There was an exit ticket that um, staff and faculty were asked where basically it was a question of, I used to think about poverty, and now I think an action I will take, and it's based on a rating scale. If it puts it in perspective uh, of everybody that took it, 35 found it very helpful. Um, and then, of course, there are comments are there. 13 found it helpful, and only one found it somewhat helpful. So if that puts in perspective, that's a pretty high rating when you talk about a, a three-point Likert scale. So that was our first day, which tied very much in the idea of, you know, recognizing that our demographic is changing, and we have to be cognizant of that as we move forward in, in our, our, our teaching and our work with our students. The second part of that day, and, and actually continued with our faculty meeting yesterday, was our work with um, mindfulness and the idea of mindfulness in the classroom based on both, uh, you know, mindfulness, deep breathing, meditative practices, yoga practices, and the idea that we can't possibly be the best for our students if we're not well, and also our students can't be the best in the classroom if they're not going into it very well, which is why our opening day gift for uh, 
fact is that we're stress falls and also our theme of the year of great and the idea of course that we're promoting that by trying to share our greatness you know one note at a time so again everybody did receive a personalized note handwritten and the idea being that they pay that forward by writing a note to someone else as well and the idea that you know we can't be great if we don't feel great and we can't obviously feel great if, we don't, if we're not acting great so that whole piece of being in one piece so that was kind of our opening day pieces that we're carrying out throughout the year and that will be you know woven into our natural work that we do as well uh, this year also opened uh, marked the opening of our first pre-k class so again, the opening of the new wing, the wing is open and all set. We did uh, part of our walkthrough today, our final punch list. So with construction, we're almost there. But we still have to have that, uh, finish that piece up for the more of the clerical pieces of the construction. But our new wing is open with our rooms fully functional, our music room being used, our pre-K, of course, classroom being used, and the downstairs wing being used for health education and tutorial classes as well as small group testing and special education. So it's been fantastic. Our pre-K class has been, again, adjusted. It's almost like they've always been here. We did make some minor adjustments to the arrival and uh, drop-off procedure because it is new to parents that have to park and walk in. That's why I've been the only uh, criticism is that, again, the class is running great, the, the program's great. Is it, you know, the walk from the parking lot to the building, but obviously that is for safety, both of the children and also the safety of our fire uh, circle, why we keep that empty. But other than that, we've adjusted some pieces and it's been fantastic. It's like we've always had that. And really that's been a, a big part of our day. So if you think about 11 days, that's been really our piece. Going to that for the public, we did, as you'll see attached, there's some couple items. Um, the board did meet and have a, a very productive little retreat where we uh, looked at some areas of focus. We did discuss those and these are basically written out. Our goal is staying the same for the district, but our areas of focus and just review that for the public, which ideally if the board does kind of recognize these, we can put those on the website if that's okay tonight. Um, just to read that, those out loud for those that don't have a copy. Um, improve the grade or team grade level use of common planning time. Continue to examine school community demographics and how to best meet the needs of all students. Continue to examine special education models to serve students best. Engage students and staff in effective, meaningful collaboration. And monitor and assess the success of the first year pre-K. So again, that was kind of a modification of the previous year areas of focus and some additional pieces as well with a total of five with our goals staying the same. So that was very important work we did over the summer in, uh, in looking at that. So that'll be something obviously for the, the group to consider. Also, another piece I'd like to very much highlight from the district level is speaking of our new wing and, of course, our areas of focus uh, invitations will be uh, were sent out to our seniors and also will be go to the public through social media and also in the advertiser. We are having a building open house on October 20th, or October, sorry, September 29th uh, from 9 to 11 a.m. That will feature student uh, tour guides and basically the opening of the building, both old and new. So the building will be open up, everything will be uh, open, lighted, and staffed so that we can basically bring folks through that building. They haven't seen the building, either the new wing, or those that haven't seen the current building campus in a while. So that is something that uh, we'll be using students for. Uh, soliciting eighth graders for their volunteerism as well. So the seniors seem very excited about coming out. That'd be great. Oh, yes. Speaking, I was going to make a transition of travel. There is one thing, uh, <laughs> not really an item, so I will ask the board if they're okay with, um, I couldn't think of a good one, sorry. Um, one other piece of, of the board to consider, again, it wouldn't be something the board necessarily has to act on, but I will just pass out um, something that was sent um, to the board ahead of time is basically, uh, so besides the areas of focus, which I would ask the board to maybe officially recognize, just so that we can make those official, um, there was uh, an inquiry uh, made by someone about the idea of a, a trip that would take place outside of the school year, and actually outside of the school day with that, um, overseas. This was actually Lisa Hancock, who teaches foreign language here, uh, uh, had offered the opportunity, or I should say offered to facilitate the opportunity to um, I'm saying host, but it's the wrong word, to basically be involved in a tour group that would basically take a trip you know, out of the country. And you can see this is a sample itinerary, July 8th through 16th. Um, this is something that the district would not have to act on, but of course maybe should have some discussion at some point because again, um, this is something that would be out of the school year, obviously out of um, the district's coverage, unless the district wanted to do that, which I would think would be something, a very different discussion. But of course, how the district wants to proceed with that or how you want to proceed with even recognizing that, that is fine. This is just, again, as requested by um, the board at one of our conversations. This is a, um, the sample retreat, and this is kind of the, the who, what, where, when, why, how, of kind of like where did this idea come from. I believe, if, um, if, if I recall why this came up and something came into paper, I think it was about 10 years ago, um, a previous administrator had approached this person about perhaps facilitating this because they had experienced um, they had had a child that went through this through like the Rotary Club or something like that and thought maybe it's something that the school could do. But again, the school could do is loose because again, this is a proposal based on this being uh, conducted independently of the school. So again, while the, but the group leader obviously is someone that does work here, hence why as much as it's not involved in the school, it does obviously tie back in in a small community because if the group leader is, is your foreign language teacher, it naturally has the implication that it does involve the school. So this is kind of the, at the request, the, the who, what, where, and why, how. And this is, I guess, what that, that trip would be. 
But again, I just want to caution the board is not necessarily acting on a yay or nay, perhaps it's just more of a discussion item of you know, um, what we want to do or how we want to respond to this idea, you know, or whether we want to respond at all. always think you know travel is it's wonderful to, to see new places and be exposed to foreign cultures I don't know that the district wants to take on anything having to do with seventh eighth ninth grade age children going that far away um, you know I, I think the trip would be great but I don't know that the, the school needs to sponsor it I don't know if anybody has any other opinions I, yeah, I didn't think we were sponsoring it. I think we're just kind of saying it's okay for it to proceed. We're not sponsoring it, but. But if we're not sponsoring then we don't have to say it. I, I would be more yeah. comfortable with the school not being involved at all. I mean, I don't think there are many parents that would send, maybe there are, um, a junior high student abroad with someone else. Um, I wouldn't be comfortable as part of the community. You know, if she wants to do that as part of a community activity, totally outside of school, and have no connection to us, that's obviously nobody can stop that. But not to have our, not to have school associated with it at all is what I wouldn't be comfortable with. I agree with that. Yeah, sure. Minimal words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, absolutely. I think uh, you know to advise the district. I, I agree 100% with what you would say. Is that uh, just to read the one paragraph out, if I may? Is um, how would this trip operate within the community and not directly about the school? <clears throat> this is written obviously to the written in the voice of its writing to the person sponsoring it. Um, in your role as an educator, your hope is to bring well-rounded opportunities to students. On paper, there will be explicit information saying the trip is not school-sponsored, yet there's always going to be a loose connection. Whenever a teacher is traveling, the trip would be offered to all members of the community and done so during the non-academic part of the year, hence, I guess, the piece of the summer. Additionally, while Rotary and Kiwanis are great organizations, their opportunities are limited. So, again, I think the key that, that I'd be happy to pass along back is that the district is not acting yay or nay because the district will not have any part in this meeting. We're not distributing this flyer. We're not promoting this. We're not using the, the school as any sort of collection basis. Um, again, I think what this person is trying to say is that, yes, they're, 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 she, she has the ability to do this whether we offer permission or not, but there could be a loose connection. So at some point the board might, if we felt there was a, an idea that this was like the, akin to the D.C. trip, you know, the board might want to put a statement out that says, you know, this is totally separate from the district if people are making that, you know, inappropriate connection. But It's like the after party. Right. Yes, it, does, it doesn't exist it's, in the district's eyes. It doesn't yes. exist in our, you know, but still, What's the after party, <laughs> we still <laughs> fundraise and <laughs> meet in this room. And <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. So, is, so what I will do is I will communicate back with Lisa that, again, the district will not, is not making any action because there will not be any action and also that any solicitation, advertisement, anything uh, cannot take place in school. But anything personal of hers, oh, if, you know? If she chooses to do it out of the library or, you know, but. Sure. Yep, mm -hmm. Sure. But not the GG logo on her. Right, so. no GG logo Perfect. on it. Excellent. <laughs> Sounds good? Just like that. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. I think that was it. I think that was it. So if the board, um, I, I don't know if it requires a formal motion, but is the board okay with accepting our 2018-19 areas of focus? Because that's okay that I would publish that to the staff and to the community. That's good. Yes, yep. Yep. please Great. publish away. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. And Dr. Yotis will elaborate more on the localized uh, other pieces of the opening days, but I will save that part for her. We're going to transition to right now 2.3 the principal's report. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Mary. <laughs> all right, we had a wonderful back to school. Uh, so first of all, I want to say at the event, the back to school welcome uh, kickoff was amazing. Um, we had quite a few uh, families show up, which was wonderful for the first time. A uh, big thank you to Jen Hallenbach for putting that all together and working so hard. I think that was great. Great kickoff. Um, you know, we welcome almost 40 new students to GD this summer. 
literally from um, June to now ended up collecting just about 40 students. So that's exciting. So many of them were there and got to meet some teachers and uh, fellow parents and myself and Dr. Reardon. So that was great. So um, wonderful kickoff. Uh, open houses went wonderful the last, uh, we had a little bit of change and added 6 to K6 uh, and then had uh, the next night 7-8, um, very well received, lots of uh, parents and great feedback there. Uh, what else do we have? Faculty meeting, we had the faculty meeting of stress management, so that was yesterday, that was great. We're trying to start with this whole um, healthy body and mind um, and, and keeping uh, really tabs on each other, making sure that we're, we're at our best to give our best to our students. So that was great. Um, we had a welcome back, our first spirit character ed assembly, welcoming the new students and celebrating back to school, which was great. The middle school had their first swag breakfast um, so that everyone could get a taste of the quarterly events that are gonna take place and celebrations for doing Good work, being respectful and responsible and safe and kind. Um, yeah, it's only the 11th day. I feel like we've done a lot. And as far as academics, all the kids have been testing for 11 days straight. Has Stephanie Carbone did a wonderful job and finished uh, all of the testing yesterday. So everyone, the whole building has had the end of UA um, uh, grades five and six are finishing the next couple days for their F and P, reading one by one with each student, doing all of that assessment, and uh, getting everybody in just right text and ready to start small group, whether it's small group enrichment, small group for struggling students. So right now we're doing lots of meeting, kind of taking the new mix of classrooms and assessing and getting a great starting point. So it's been a busy 11 days, and uh, I think that's it for me. Thank you. Uh, 2.4 PTA slash CPTA update. I'm sure you can give that if somebody else shows up, Darcy, would you like to? I do. There's not much going on at PTA, i got to be quite honest. Um, I think they sent us about five pages. I'm always very embarrassed by their report, and then my little set to report. <laughs> um, Yankee Candle just went out, the, big, the biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, so they're going to have an apparel sale again, so watch for that. Um, we already talked about the carnival. I did see that um, Science Crew and Bowling are both full wait lists, so that's exciting. And then for uh, SEPTA, we just had our meeting Monday night. We had a guest speaker come and talk to us about their foundation, Raising Talk Walk to Seed, and it was about children's mental health. Very informative, and then we made some loose plans, um, um, some loose plans for the year, but really not, no dates or anything um, solidified just yet. So. Okay, thank you for that. I just want to comment quickly on the Back to School Carnival. That was fantastic. I saw you running constantly. I don't know how you enjoyed it at all yeah. because you were just running from place to place, but it was a great turnout, so much fun. I miss seeing Andy get dumped because I haven't to go to work. But, it's a 90 um, degree day, so it was perfect. It, it, was, it wasn't perfect for it. It was just, it was just a great event to see all the faculty here, the kids here. It was just really, really fun. Good start of the year. I think they tracked it was maybe 350. Uh, they were taking how many students, how many, mm -hmm. I, I think it's was 350 That's good. For, for the first time. Yeah. That's yeah. Really yeah. awesome. <coughs> yeah, they kicked it up a notch from the playground. Yeah. And the <laughs> yeah. Lemonade. And lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Freeze pops. <laughs> we had to kick it down next <laughs> year. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 3.0, uh, appointments and authorizations. We're going to do a consent agenda. I think we have to change it from 3.1 to 3. Point, instead of 3.11 to 3.10. Uh, so I will read all this, and then we will make a motion in a second and talk about it. Okay, 
3.1, approve CSC CPSC recommendations as per attached. 3.2, approval of substitutes. Uh, we have Jenna Lefevre, Elijah Jones, Savannah Mason, Amber Oregon. Looks like they're uh, substitute teachers aid, $80 per day, non-certified teachers, $80. $80 per day and recess slash cafe aid, $11.10 per hour. 3.3, accept the resignation of Amanda Barrett, teacher's assistant, effective August 31st, 2018. Accept the resignation of Wendy DeBell, nurse at St. Jude's for the purpose of retirement, effective September 29th, 2018. 3.5, accept the resignation of Heather Watroba, teacher's aid, effective September 20th, 2018. 3.6, appoint Heather Watroba to full-time position of teaching assistant at step one prorated in the tenure of teaching assistant, effective September 21st, 2018, with a four-year probationary term, concluding on September 21st, 2022. 3.7, appoint Brenda Alderman as clerk, recess aid six hours a day at $15 per hour, effective September 21st, 2018, through June 30th, 2019. 3.8, appoint Mary Helen Culver as part-time, 0.6 FTE, school nurse at St. Jude's beginning September 21st, 2018 through June 30th, 2019 at step 10 prorated. 3.9, appoint uh, Yenny Schwartz as six-month probationary full-time teacher aide effective September 24th, 2018 as per the WTAA contract. 3.10, appoint Carly Bowie as six month probationary full time teacher aid effective September 29th, 2018, as per the WTAA contract, pending fingerprint clearance. Do you make a motion? Motion. Second. You want to talk about some of this? Sure. Uh, just to kind of recap, again, uh, if I could point out there within that, uh, <coughs> I see that, by the way. Um, the uh, resignation for retirement person, Wendy DeBell. Wendy's been with the district for 21 years. Just got to point out, Wendy's been our St. Jude's nurse. I don't think Wendy's ever been here, but she's always been with the district as a, a part-time uh, school nurse. So she'll be retiring for uh, personal reasons. Again, she sends her regret. Um, thanks to the district for all her support, but she says she hopes to come back as a substitute once things kind of settle down at home. That'd be great. Um, also, you'll notice the restructuring, 3.7, reflects uh, some restructuring of a position to the retirement of Kathy Vale, so kind of a reconfiguration um, that actually is beneficial to the, the building, but also uh, financially, it kind of maximizes staff and also maximizes financial resources. And you'll notice the other pieces. Oh, we were also were able to secure 3.8, a very qualified school nurse to take that 0.6 spot. As you know, school nurses are very hard to find, much less part-time people, so to find a really, uh, someone of this high caliber candidate, 38 years as an OR nurse, that's fantastic. But also uh, 3.9, 3.10 reflect kind of as of today, we were able to secure two very uh, fantastic, uh, capable teaching teacher aides that are very excited to join our district. I believe they both can join. Um, actually, I know they can both join as soon as Monday. So we're happy to restore um, consistency. But to also add uh, some background to that, to put in perspective, I know we were short two teaching teacher aides for the part of the year. I believe we figured out what Troy is short 16 right now. Um, some districts are short 10, East Greenbridge I think is 10. So to put in perspective, it's sometimes hard, but the, that, that's even harder to start your year with 16 off. So we are now full staff and all set. So not too bad. Castle? Yes. Mr. Lannessy? Yes. Mrs. Mack? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. 3.11, appoint Joyce Lannessy at bus aid two hours a day at $12.50 per hour for the 2018-19 school year. Motion. Second. You want to talk about this? Sure. Uh, this is actually a position, uh, this was previously, this is an afternoon bus run for a student that is out of district. Um, in the morning it is covered by a bus driver that is able to do that, but this is a, a, a prime time where the drivers are unable to kind of cover his bus aids. So this position allows us to uh, continue providing that aid service for that student that is out of district over on Central Ave. The person that previously did it was um, someone in our cafeteria who no longer can do that, hence the opening now. Any questions? Yes. Okay. Mr. Lanesy? I'm going to abstain. Mrs. Mack? Yes. Mr. Strang? Yes. Okay, 4.0, informational, 4.1, uh, community open house, September 29th, 2019, from 9 to 11 a.m. 4.2, regular Board of Education <laughs> meeting, October 18th, 2018, and 
4.3, opportunity for the public to be heard. Has anybody signed up? We do not. Okay. Anybody wants to speak? Anybody Roger, as your last chance. <laughs> okay, 5.0, request for executive session. I don't believe we have any need for executive. I, I'm good, if you're good. I'm good. Okay, so we don't need to adjourn from that and return to open. We'll, we'll go right to regular adjournment, 7.0. All, right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those against?